What's up everyone? Hope you're having a great day wherever you are in the world. My name's Chris. I'm the owner of Westside Dive. Uh, we are world known, we've been around a long time, but in Hawaii we are known as the number one spearfishing free diving place to come to. We try to keep up on the latest and greatest products, uh, brands, and we'll always try to have those available. Um, a couple other things we do, we do some spearfishing classes and charters. We are open seven days a week, Monday through Sunday. Sunday's a half day, but uh, no other shop open, we, we're open for you guys. You can also see the catalog uh, at westsidedive.com. Check out what we got there. You can email us or, or find a contact number there. Also, we're on the socials, Instagram, Facebook, and our brand new YouTube channel. Uh, why don't you guys come on inside and check out what we got. What's up guys, Chris here, welcome back. Today I wanna to run through how to make your spear gun rubbers. It's, it's, we've been doing it this way for about 15 years and we feel it's the most secure kind of way to do it. Really there's a few things that you would want. Obviously your cut of spear gun rubber, a pair of good scissors, the wishbone that you're gonna use. The, we'd like to use a wishbone tool or you can use needle nose pliers, and we actually use a military grade flat braided wax line to secure uh, the rubber so the wishbone doesn't slide out. And you also need maybe some soapy water or a silicone spray to be able to uh, easily throw in the wishbone into the rubber. So step one, you'll determine the length, the thickness, uh, color of the spear gun rubber that you'll need. Um, some good scissors, it's gonna cut through really easily, is a must. So get yourself some good scissors. We like these short, stubby nose ones. So step one, get your spear gun rubber cut to the length you want. Step two, you'll want to um, cut a good amount of your wax tie line. And then what we like to do is double it up. So you have a loop on one side and the open ends on the other. What I'm going to show you now is what's called a double constrictor knot. When this knot is done properly, the wishbone should never escape the rubber. So simply what you do is cross over. So now you have the loops, uh, loop on one side and the open end on the other. You'll take this, uh, this loop side with the open end and fold it towards myself. So you're making a kind of a figure eight there, if you can see that. So from here, what I do is fold it back on itself. So that's, that's creating one, two loops that are gonna be secured onto the spear gun rubber. Once the loops are on the rubber, you kind of pull it tight get it more secured. As you can see, it's spread out and I just take my little needle nose pliers, get this all together. And now you have your double constrictor knot ready to be cinched down nice and tight. From here, we usually use a heavy duty silicone spray, little spray there to kind of lube it up. We have our wishbone, Dyneema wishbone with a, a bead, a plastic bead on the end. And this is our wishbone tool. It makes it really easy um, to input that, that bead in there. You can also use um, needle nose pliers of some sort, but you have to be really careful with these needle nose. If you, if you don't get it into the hole, going into your, your hand. The wishbone tool has a slot that you'll see the Dyneema part kind of lays right in there easily. And the bead. And I kind of give a little tug. You want to keep this nice and tight in between your fingers as you implant the bead. 
One key critical thing to do to notice is that the rubber is kind of flush to my, my fingers here, my fist. You don't want it out really far while you're, while you're trying to put this bead in. If so, it's most likely gonna come out um, and into your hand. So what we like to do is have a nice firm grip on the rubber that's flush to your fingers. Take the bead, kind of give it a wiggle, and it's in and push. Once the wishbone bead is, is in far enough past your, your knot, where you're gonna be cinching the knot down, I usually just kind of give a little pinch, pull the wishbone tool out, and you can see by there's a little bulge, you can kind of see where that, that bead is. So now you're ready to cinch down this knot forever. We have a cleat. You can have a, a pin or something there so that loop goes around the cleat, the open end on this end. I take my needle nose pliers. I like to roll it up a few times, push down toward the ground as you kind of roll. And you'll eventually feel that knot will not go any further. And it's cinched down for life. Then we simply come and clip the ends off. We have some frayed ends and then we'll just take our torch. Burn these ends nice and, and good. Not too much so you burn the rubber, but there you have a very secure wishbone inside your spear gun rubber. And basically, repeat for the second side and you're done. Okay guys, that's a wrap for today. We appreciate you checking our video out. Please give us a like, subscribe to the page, and we'll see you next time.